what's up there guys welcome back to my channel today is the sixth day of our javascript interview random questions and today we are working on a program that creates a string that represents an eighth by eighth grid using a new line character to separate lines and at each position of the grid there's either going to be a space or a hash has this character we need to create a chessboard that is entirely what we're going to work on and as bonus here when we create everything and it is working we got to modify our program so that instead of using eighth by eighth grid as default we need to also give it some other values so that it can take whatever value it is that we want to give like make it a little bit dynamic so to speak so yeah without further ado let's just jump right and start doing what we're supposed to do so first thing first we are going to create a chessboard okay and set that chessboard to empty string then after that we are going to like loop through a row first we initialize the row to zero then after this we say row is less than eight because we are creating eight by eight so after this row plus plus okay then after this, we need an inner loop which is going to deal with the column. Okay. First, we initialize the column to zero. Then after this, we say column is less than eight, just like the initialization we did. Then column plus plus. Now, with this, we'll say if row, okay, plus column is divisible by two or if it is let me say even then we actually want to change the chessboard chessboard value so that it will be just empty space based on this like we are giving a space if you have to see from here there is either a space this one okay or asterisk that is exactly what we are dealing with here so we are giving it an empty space here then else if it is not even then you are going to just set chess bond okay chess bond plus equal to asterisk like that so now okay that is that and that is done we are going to come out from this loop okay which means somewhere there yeah obviously in this position then we're going to say this one okay here what we are doing is we're using the outer loop to generate a new line after each iteration when the iteration reaches to the end of what we actually have here when column is less than eight then the outer loop will now generate a new line again so this is what is going to happen like if we are to come down here and console.log here just print out chessboard and we see what is going on like that then we see what is going on you can see here this first iteration okay is actually this running when it like identify okay this very space is even then it prints this empty whatever if you can see it is one two three four okay and at the same time if you can see the hash trace here which means like for odds is one two three four and now based on this which means it is running the inner loop eight times in order to generate that and whenever this is finished the outer loop will now execute this piece of code and by executing this piece of code it generates another new line on generating another new line then the inner uh, inner loop will now run again okay by running again it generates this then it continues until the outer loop have it rate eight times just like it is supposed to do so that is when it will stop and this is going to be the output i'm quite sure with this sort of explanation you understand exactly how this thing work in it is entirety of water and yeah this is actually how our entire program works and now when it comes to the bonus here 
we are supposed to make sure that the size is dynamic, which means instead of putting 8, we can use 10, 20 or something. Then for us to solve that, we are just going to say let, then we will say size is equal to 8. Then in all the places where 8 appear, okay, like suppose here, we'll just change it to size and we'll come down here instead of 8, we'll just say size, you see, like that. Now with this, our program is now going to work dynamic. What, what do I mean by that? Like if we are supposed to come here instead of 8 and change it to 10 and like try to run it here, you see? Now changing it to 10, we are now seeing all this. And if you can look clearly now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is now 5, plus all the dark holes, this one, this one, this one, also 5, which means it is running 10 times, only in this place alone, it is running 10 times. And the same thing is happening as it creates a new line, it creates, creates a new line, and seriously, if you just understand how this specific piece of code works, then you will know exactly why this Thing is looking in this form because if we are to change this then you will see entirely a lot of change happening so yeah that is it about our challenge of today which is generating a dashboard based on the strings given in the spaces so to speak and as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video